It's, it's a penny business. You know, you make pennies on this, you make pennies on that. They think that when you get gas and you sell it to them for $4.23, they think you're making $4.22, you know? They don't realize that there's somebody charging you for this. So, Peter, you own two gasoline stations. Now, how many times a week have you raised prices at the pump at both those stations, and by how much? About three to four times a week, and anywhere from three to eight cents a pop. Prices at this pump today are about 27 cents higher than the national average. Now, as a consumer, I'm, I'm looking at those prices and I'm thinking, you're making a pretty profit on these higher prices. Why should I not think that you're gouging me? Well, I think a lot of people will be surprised that it's not us that's making the money on gasoline. It's, it's the big oil companies, it's the distributors. They sell it to you without taxes included and then you have to add about 60 cents as gas goes up, that number goes up, you know. So it's about 60 cents right now that we have to add on. That just We don't see it, just goes right to New York State. And then on top of that, you add on, you know, your 8, 10 cents that you'd like to make a gallon, but then you've got to back out credit card fees after that, so you're right back down to you're only making a few cents a gallon. How many of your consumers pay for gas on credit card? About 90%. In 1981, it was... 90% cash, 10% credit card. And we got people coming in and getting a dollar's worth of a newspaper or a dollar coffee and they're putting on a credit card. 150. Okay. So how much are you left with when you subtract all of those costs? Pretty close to even negative numbers. So what you're saying is that you may actually be losing money by selling fuel? If you buy on a credit card, definitely. So what, what product here at your gasoline station do you make the most profit on? Coffee, uh, soda, soda fountain, candy. Those are our best items. And the biggest part of our business is the gasoline business, obviously, because, you know, we're doing thousands of gallons a day. But we're not making any money on it. The beer doesn't come in for free. The soda doesn't come in for free. We have to pay for all of that. I have to pay the electric company every month. I mean, it's, there's a water bill every month. You have your employees. Obviously, they, you know, they have payroll taxes and everything. I have to match Social Security on every one. You know, for this location here, you know, we're, we're paying with our 7% fee and, and, and what the oil company is charging, like $28,000 a month. There's so much that comes out of being a, a, a middle-class businessman that, you know, people just don't realize. How much money do you make every year operating two gasoline stations? Less and less. Is it still worth it? Do you want to keep these two stations? It's tracking in the, in the direction of no. I, you know, I've probably um, seen my better days.